Hey y'all, it's Hunter here. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are all excited for today's video. I know I am. So you've probably read by the title of this video already, but I am going to be doing a Ulta haul. I went to Ulta today and I decided to film the haul right when I got home because I cannot wait to film this for you guys. So I hope you enjoy it. If you do, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button. There'll be an annotation flying across the screen right here. If you're on a computer, you can click on that one or the annotation that'll be on my end slide, end slate. If you're on a mobile device, just scroll down and click the subscribe button next to my face. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this new background. I got this like fringy stuff from Teen Ho Hobby Lobby. And I thought it was just kind of cute. And I also, big changes are coming. I'm planning on getting new lighting equipment. So definitely stay tuned for that because it's coming. And yeah, with that, let's get on into the video. First of all, I'm just going to show you some of the sample stuff that they gave us. So first of all, I got samples of the Born This Way foundation. I went there looking for the concealers and the new like liners, but they don't have them out yet, which was really disappointing. But we got three samples. We got vanilla, light beige, and sand. Um, samples so they give you kind of like a the super like a lighter shade and then they give you a little bit of a medium shade and then a darker shade so that's super nice and just something extra and fun that they can throw in there and then the other sample they gave us is the urban decay perversion mascara so they just gave us a little sample mascara and i think i have sampled this mascara before and i really like this mascara i just have never like I never really buy mascaras but the wand is really nice so I'll definitely use this and you can always go for bonus makeup products so. okay next I got two pairs of eyelashes but I'm wearing one of them and they're just the wispies like right here it says wispies and then I got some of the natural 120 demis these are my favorite and I ran out of lashes today because I couldn't find them I could only find one, so I was like freaking out and I was like, okay, we have to go to Ulta, mainly for lashes, but yeah, those are my favorite. And the next thing I got is um, the NYX, the Skinny Mascara. I've had this once before and the IT Cosmetics has one, it's like the Tightline Mascara, but um, this NYX one is like literally exactly the same and it's so much cheaper. And I used up my other one that I had a few months ago, like completely. And I wanted a new one just because this mascara is so awesome and it tight lines. Like the brush is literally that big. And you can just get so close to your tight line. So it mascaras, it lengthens your eyelashes so much. And also it um, coats your uh, tight line with blackness as well. So this is a great option, but definitely if you were interested in the It Cosmetics one, check out this one because it's way cheaper. And you'll love it. All right, the next thing I got is I purchased a mascara. I was really wanting to find a new mascara because I was really interested in getting a new one. And so I decided to get the Too Faced Lash Gasm. I haven't heard much about this um, mascara, but I looked at it and I loved the brush. And I was really wanting one that's going to lengthen. And it said it is the size of your lashes that matter. And the brush looked super like it was going to be really lengthening. And so I'm super excited to give this mascara a try and see if it'll really lengthen and volumize my lashes. Um, if you didn't know, I suffered with pulling out my eyelashes a lot. And so I'm finally like getting them full in and getting them really healthier. And so once they are completely like grown back in and healthier and strong, I am planning on getting eyelash extensions. So definitely stay tuned for that. And maybe I can give you a little bit of like a background on eyelash extensions and things like that. But they are getting longer and more fuller, so I really wanted to treat myself to a nice mascara. And I thought this one looked super cool, so I decided to pick it up. Edit. The next thing I got is this Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. This is one of their new brow products. This is in the shade 1. I actually picked this up for my sister because she really wanted to get a new eyebrow pencil. So this is, it's like kind of like the Anastasia one. It's like the triangle shaped brow head and let's do a swatch. It's just like this shade. She has a little bit of darker hair than me, but again, this is the lightest shade that they have and the packaging is super adorable. And then on the other end, it has a spoolie. 
to brush them out. So she is trying to get a little bit more into doing her brows and makeup and thing. She's been taking after me a lot lately, so I did get pick her up this eyebrow pencil and she can try it out. And it's also from the new Benefit Eyebrow line. They have so much cool stuff in there, so definitely if you have an ultra around you, go check out the new Benefit Eyebrow products. Alright, we're down to the last two things. I what it was just a short Ulta haul. But, because I didn't want to spend like too much money, but I did want to pick up a new few items that I had seen. The next thing I got is the Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done Hybrid Complexion Perfector with SPF 20. So I have seen this floating around YouTube a little bit and I really, I used to have the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. That was the first foundation, like my first high-end foundation that I ever got. And I really liked it, but it was super, super light. And I started getting to where I wanted like more coverage and it just wasn't cutting it. So I gave it away to one of my sister's friends. But I've really seen a lot of people like trying this out and loving it. And it summertime, it has SPF 20. So I was thinking that it would be like a great summer foundation. It doesn't call itself a foundation. It calls it a complexion perfecter. But essentially it does the same as a... Um, foundation and it does have sunscreen in it. It says on the back that the purpose is for sunscreen. The purpose is to protect your skin from the sun. So it looks like this. I got the lightest shade which is just called light and it has the pump like this which again I think is very helpful and I'll squirt some out on my hand for you. Don't you hate when you just sit there when you buy a new product you just sit there pumping it out and it, it doesn't count. Come on, come on, come on. Please tell me I did not get a faulty pump. I've literally been pumping this for 20 seconds now. There we go. Okay, so just be warned, it takes a little bit. But so that it comes out like this, and then again, you can just blend it in. And so it essentially, I believe, is like a foundation. So I'm going to try this out. If you guys want to see a first impression on this, give this video a thumbs up because I'd love to do a first impression and review on this foundation for you. And definitely check out my other first impression I did on the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. I'll link that down below if it's already up. It will be up before this video. But yes, I'm going to probably do a first impression on this. So if you're excited to see that, then give this video a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments because I'll definitely do that for you guys if that's something you're interested in. Okay, and the last thing I got, I have wanted for so long, and I'm so excited that I finally took the plunge and got it. Um, I was watching Jessica Brom, Jam Beauty, if you guys watch her here on YouTube. She's amazing. Definitely check out her channel, but she just got this, and so it kind of like um, just pushed me. Um, I was like, okay, you know, let's just go get it. So it's the Tarte Tartlet in Bloom eyeshadow palette. I just picked this up and instantly fell in love. It's so beautiful. I'm going to, I'll swatch the shades for you I'll just go ahead and like swatch all the shades but when you take the packaging out like it just is so soft it feels so soft the back side is like a mirror where you can like legitly see yourself like there's my ring light like it's so clear and it's so sturdy and it also shows me that my eyelash is coming it's just such beautiful packaging like it's stunningly gorgeous and then when you open it up you get a mirror again you guys can see me filming hi guys <laughs> Um, but this is what the palette looks like. It's so freaking gorgeous and it has all the names under the shadows which I find to be very helpful in an eyeshadow palette and I just like it more when they do have the shadow names under the eyeshadows. It's just a little bit more helpful but the, sh the shades, oh my god they're so gorgeous. I'm going to go through and swatch each one of them for you on my arm. So the first one right here is the shade Charmer. So it's just like a pure white. This is going to be like a great base shade to have because essentially you can't see it, but um, it's right there. So it's just going to be give you like that nice white outed look. Next we have Jet Setter. And the names are just like so beautiful. It's like a more kind of brown color. Mm -hmm. Jet Setter. All right, next we have Rocker which is a shimmery shade. Rocker's right here. I'm having difficulties swatching. Um, so, oh, I should probably get into this before I keep doing my swatches. There's one, two, 
nine mattes and three shimmers in this palette so it's giving you a wide range which is really really helpful so the next one is smoke show which is a deep kind of blackish shade why am i smudging <laughs> smoke show i need to swatch them higher up on my arm but smoke show is going to be really pretty if you're really wanting to smoke it out and go for a really deep smoky eye and then the second sh uh, row we have flower child which is like a yellowish shade. It's just right there. You essentially can't see it. Next, we have Smarty Pants, which I love the name of that one. That's adorable. Which is it? Just another brownish color. Right there. Oh, I need to do them up here more. Okay, Firecracker is like my favorite shade in the palette. It's one of the shimmery shades, but it's so gorgeous. I absolutely am excited to use this one a lot. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at it. That is so freaking gorgeous. I'm definitely going to do a tutorial with this palette. If you want to see that, definitely give this video a thumbs up as well. And then the last one in the second row is Activist, which is again a dark shade. So there's Activist and Smoke Show. So they're essentially kind of the same color, just a little bit of different of tones. And then the last row we have Funny Girl, which again is the last shimmery shade, which is super beautiful as well. It's kind of just like a light shimmery shade. And then we have Sweetheart, which I'm just going to swatch on my hand. Sweetheart is really pretty as well. And then we have Rebel, which is a kind of like a maroonish color, if you will. Maroonish brown, ready color. That's going to be super pretty. And then the last shade in the palette is Leader, which is a purplish cranberry color, but super dark. Oh yeah, that's super pigmented. So I'm super excited for this palette. I'm definitely going to be doing tutorials on it. So definitely give this video a thumbs up. I hope you guys enjoyed getting kind of the swatches as well. Don't know if that was a little bit of annoying, but yeah. So that is everything I got from Ulta. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget, don't forget to subscribe. I'd love for you guys to join my family. I'm going to have some interesting... Um, like more kind of on the creepy side videos coming because again I am very interested in the horror world and I did put up my Ouija board video and I'm just kind of like wanting to get more into those videos so if you're excited for that definitely stay tuned and click the subscribe button and yeah just stay tuned for more crazy videos and I'll see you guys all in my next video bye guys